is a show that sets out to help a single guy and girl find that special someone, but only after they've met the parents. And while mum and dad are trying to get them that date, their little angels will be in the den, praying that they don't give away too many secrets. We start tonight with a single boy choosing from three gorgeous girls. So let's say hello to the ladies and their parents. My love life is a bit of a disaster. What do you think about the kind of guys I date, Dad? There's no to think about. They're all useless. No decent one yet. Dad, you can't say stuff like that. I think the only reason he wants me to uh, meet someone is so he can kick me out the house. But my mum, I think she generally wants me to meet someone nice. All I want for you is to be happy and have a nice family and I know you're taken care of. Oh, what's wrong with the my dad is my best friend. He knows me better than anyone else in the world, probably because I spend most time with him. You made me watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre when I was, like, six. Yeah, but you knew to keep away from men with, with chainsaws. I'm definitely a daddy's girl. All I want is really nice guys who are going to look after you and treat you good. I just want the best for my little princess. Pinky What's promise, yes? Being confident? Uh -huh. Some people have said to me before that I am quite intimidating, but I know what I want in life and I go out and get it. You don't seem to last long with fellas. I don't know if you scare them off. <laughs> I just won't like it. I'm very independent, so I do need somebody that is successful and that can kind of match me. I remember uh, somebody telling me, for every pound you have, he's got to have five. <laughs> Ten! <laughs> Away you go! <laughs> of wisdom for your parents before I send you off to the den. Laura? Uh, think before you speak and do not show us over. OK, quite <laughs> simply. Hannah, what about you? Keep it short and sweet, so don't go on. And also, there's only one of you, so use double the energy. No problem. Ah, <laughs> teamwork, like that. OK, and Sarah, what about you? Say what you guys want to say, but... Uh, be good as well. <laughs> and, yeah, behave. <laughs> right, guys, well, our single fella is on his way down here right now, so you need to clear off and get your beautiful selves into the den. Off you go. There go the girls. <laughs> Hi, girls. Well, the girls are safely hidden away, so parents, their fate is now in your hands. Right. I think it's about time we met the boy who's doing the choosing. Please welcome Ben. You are tall. As you were coming down those steps, I don't steps, know, you know, some off today. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Meet the Parents. How are you feeling? Sound, yeah. Can't wait for it. Are you? Are you excited yeah. about your potential date tonight? Yeah, looking forward to it. Good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> so, parents, first impressions so far. What do you think of Ben? Oh, he's... Yeah. Oh, he's nice. nice guy. Nice. I'm speechless. <laughs> you want to see I don't know what to say. He's uh, gorgeous. I hope you got some pants on you. <laughs> Well, tap to eat, a look at that. <laughs> right, let's get to know a little bit about you first of all. What do you do for a living? I'm a towel crane operator. Oh, right. Do you get lonely up there? Bit boring sometimes, you fair lie. It's not too bad, though. I hope you're not going to end up lonely tonight. We are going to find you a girl. If not, and... I'll just take Shona back. All right! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ben, the parents are all here, but the girls are safely hidden away in the den. Would you like to say a quick hello to them down that camera? To who? <laughs> what do you so, say? The idea of the show is that there's three girls hidden away that you're going to come to date with. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you doing, girls? You all right? How you doing? Hi. Now, girls, remember, 
remember, you can't talk to Ben, but you do have the call to your parents. You can only use it once, so make sure it counts. Right, before Ben gets down to business, parents, I've got a question for you. Would you please describe your daughter? Let's start with Laura, first of all. Um, she's funny and caring, but she's very hard work and messy. Right. Messy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> OK, uh, David, would you agree? I, it, she's been there. Uh, she's been 20 years an angel. It's about time yet time she flapped the wings. Are you are you just trying to get rid of her tonight? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about Hannah? I'm um, Hannah. Very uh, strong, loving, loyal person, but a definite challenge without a shadow of a doubt. Oh. Okay. And finally, what about Sarah? Um, Sarah's absolutely beautiful. Uh, she has extremely long legs, most piercing, beautiful blue and green eyes, and wherever you go, heads turn. But step out of line and she'll come down in your tub of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, listen, it's over to you now. You've got your questions. Right, about yeah. So, first things first, if I'm going to date your daughter, I need to know how much you're going to get involved in the love life. Oh, right. OK, well, let's start with Sarah. I mean, how much do you want her mum to get involved, first of all? <laughs> well, that's really, I'm sure that's that after-show conversation, isn't it? I suppose I am involved in Sarah's love life. Um, there was one particular instance that I remember, maybe about a year ago, uh, she'd met somebody in London and swapped telephone numbers. And when he started texting her, he'd say, she said, Mum, what can I do? Help me, what am I going to reply? So I started replying for her. Now, <laughs> so for the next, oh, I don't know, three, four, five weeks, maybe, uh, I was doing the relationship. <laughs> so I had a relationship with this man. For five, five, five weeks. Text relationship. I mean, I text relationship. <laughs> uh, she um, eventually met him uh, when she went down to London, and need I say? They only had one date, <laughs> and he never phoned her again. <laughs> ah. All right, let's find out about Laura. How involved do you get in Laura's love life? Um, too much. Ah. <laughs> and they get attached to the boyfriends who they meet. Oh, and you then... do? I do, because you get oh. to know them, come to the house, and then when you get to like them, they fall out. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and finally, what about Hannah? I used to get involved, but I've learned to step back a bit, a few black eyes and, and so on. <laughs> um, we used to play pranks on potential boyfriends. She said, I'm going to bring this new guy home to meet you. Yeah, no problem. So I briefed her. I said, you text me when you're sort of five minutes away. I'm going to be sat on the floor and I'm going to have the God channel on the television, full glass, <laughs> and I'm going to be giving it the... Oh, happy day. <laughs> He basically told me if I didn't let, like, go through yeah. with this, I wasn't allowed to bring this boyfriend in. <laughs> so what happened is this poor boy, he ends up sitting on the floor behind me next to Hannah, and he's there giving it the... <laughs> oh, happy <laughs> day. Oh, happy day. And we kept this going for 45 minutes. That's <laughs> I, I can't imagine why Hannah's still single after that. It's a, it's a mystery. <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, I'm going to brace myself here. What's the worst habit your daughter's got? Oh, OK, yes, this is very revealing. Let's find out about Hannah. Ah, right. She actually sleeps with her eyes open. <laughs> there is nothing no. freaky about that. She sleeps with her eyes <laughs> open. Now, have you seen The Exorcist or anything like that? <laughs> I've, not, I've not seen a head spin yet. <laughs> over the years. Oh. <laughs> Someone's in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Hi, Holly. Can you put me on to my dad, I please? Can, yes. Martin, would you pick up the phone, please? Hello, my little princess. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're making me sound like an absolute psychopath. No, there's no psych... I haven't told them about the psychopath. They didn't <laughs> <care>. <laughs> Stop with the story. Stop with the story and just play it cool. OK. okay? i got to carry on anyway. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. What's wrong with it? So, she falls asleep. She sleeps with her eyes open. I've actually gone and spoken to her. 
And she's actually replied to me. <laughs> she sleepwalks as well. Okay. It's okay if you want anything from the kitchen, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just give her a note. <laughs> All right then. What about Laura? She got any back? Oh, go on. Come on. <laughs> she has got loads, but our worst habit is she's got a phobia about sickness. When we go on the bus to Newcastle on the Metro Centre shopping, if any children get on eating sweets and pop, she moves all seats so she doesn't have to sit near you. Because she thinks they're going to throw up on her. She can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> Him with, her, with the daughter with her, her eyes not shut. Laura's the same. Because the massive. Because they thought she was cross. <laughs> they thought she was cross-eyed when she was younger. <laughs> Gorgeous big brown eyes. Gorgeous. They've, they've opened up a bit since then. Gorgeous. <laughs> a beautiful girl. Oh my God! What are they doing? What about Sarah? Has she got any bad habits? <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's a bad habit, but you know she's had an obsession with mayonnaise since she was a little girl. <laughs> I said, I said, so cute. It. She put it on anything. She has not so anything. She strawberries, fruit. She, she'll eat it out the jar. She's just got this obsession with mayonnaise. You'll have that in the back of your dog. She'd eat that as well. <laughs> that is. So she was it? No. Um, so, yeah, so, so, you know? you, are you a mayonnaise person? Not like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. So, if I was lucky enough to see inside her bedroom, what would You're I... presumptuous. What would... <laughs> what would I find? What about Sarah? Government health warnings. <laughs> <laughs> is she messy? Oh, she... No. I guess she is. No, calm down. It's not as bad She's as out. Bad. Oh. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hey, can I speak to my mum? <laughs> yes, she can. Shona, would you pick up the phone, please? Hi. Yes. Hi. Can you stop <laughs> him? <laughs> Can you stop him, please? You have to shut up. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not messy. Right, see apologies. Your apologies. Thanks, love you. Love you too. Bye, Bye Sarah. Bye. All right, what about Hannah? Hannah, she's extremely tidy. I'm absolutely shocked because I've gone through many years of an untidy Hannah. Back in the day, there was nothing to find maybe a three-month-old half-eaten pizza under the bed or, Ooh. you know, whenever she was confronted, she would look me straight in the eyes and she'd say, Dad, Dad, it was not me, it was my Chinese twin sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say, well, I think you need to get your Chinese twin sister to clear the mess up and clean your room. She said, I can't. I said, why? She's gone back to China. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient. She's either very clever or very weird. <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> which one. What about Laura? Terrible. A burglar would bypass Laura's bedroom. Oh, really? <laughs> we have a new carpet. The first day, she burned it with a crisscross with the hair straighteners. Oh. Hair dye, nail glue, everything. The what? bed in total disarray, all sorts of junk lying everywhere. Uh, it's just, it's just filthy dirt. It's just in the house. Oh. <laughs> oh, Sophie, I am not! If, you, if, you, if you really want to get rid of her, you're better off saying nice things. If she's in the house... Wait, it's the truth. We're telling the truth. <laughs> all right, next question. Right, so when I've had a drink, I can be a bit of an handful. What's your daughter like on sauce? On... On toast? On sauce. On sauce. Oh, on sauce! On sauce! What's your daughter like on toast? OK, what's she like after she's had a beverage or two? What about Laura? She's, she's a clown. 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 Class clown. <laughs> Loves it. A clown. A clown. One night she went out in Newcastle and she came home and went to bed. There was a knock at the door about a quarter of an hour after. 
And I thought, oh, there's some lad come home with her. And I went downstairs, it was the taxi driver. She hadn't paid the money and she told him... <laughs> she told him that she was going upstairs to get the money, but she went to sleep. Yeah. We pay yeah. the taxi driver. All right, well, make sure you've yeah. got money for the cab tonight, all right? Oh, yeah. All right. What about Sarah? She was having a party one night, and I did come into the house um, late on when the party was supposedly finishing, and she was crying. And then there was a lot of noise, and I thought, what's going on here? And I walked in, and they were talking about the royal family. Sarah's a royalist. She absolutely loves the royal family. Anyhow, she's crying her eyes out. She's, all I could hear was shouting was, the Queen, she's 86 years old. She's worked her little bottom off. <laughs> And then the next thing, she bursts into God Save Our Gracious Queen. <laughs> uh, all right, finally, what about Hannah? What's she like? Son, come and sit here. Come on, let's have a seat. Come on, come on. Listen. Oh. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Come on, talk to me. Well, what, I'll, I'll give you some. One, one of the keys, you know, right, um, I've gone to pick her up from this burger restaurant or somewhere. Can't find her. Parked the car up gone inside. The whole clientele is in a complete circle, and Hannah's doing a rendition of Grease Lightning. <laughs> no, nobody's eating burgers, nobody's buying anything, they're just mesmerised. I don't think by the skill of the rendition. <laughs> the other thing is, she likes to keep me informed how she's getting on through the night, that she's safe and I get these really weird texts. Well, listen, uh, we've actually got one of these text messages that she sent you. Hello! Yeah. Oh, oh, no! no! Come and have a look. Come and have a look. It says, Can you come and get me? <laughs> In a kebab. <laughs> what hands may be? <laughs> Junko, I'm in bed. <laughs> she protects you in your front bedroom. <laughs> She's in the kebab shop. She's <laughs> watching and she's in bed. That's amazing. <laughs> OK, right, so that's that. This is the big one. Last question, over to you. Pretty blunt, but why should I date your daughter? OK, let's start off with Laura. Why should you date your daughter? <laughs> well... <laughs> I guarantee once, once you meet that, you'll think she's a superstar. Aww. Once you meet that. Uh, she's kind. She'll uh, never dump you, you'll dump her. Uh, <laughs> she, she never... She, she never... She's doing so well! <laughs> <laughs> Why <not? laughs> OK. Hannah, what about Hannah? Hannah is very unique, Ben. She's... she's attractive. She's bubbly, she's outgoing, she wears her heart on her sleeve. And what you see is what you get. It's 100%. The real deal. Yeah. Wow. Honestly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and finally, why should we take Sarah out on the date? She's a bonny girl. She's lovely. She really is a son. She's also a great laugh. And when you're in her company, please believe me, anything can happen. Your night could end up three days from now in Las Vegas or in the jail. You just don't know. <laughs> One thing I will tell you is, if you do go with them, something does happen between you, you've won a prize, trust me. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> well, Ben has met the parents and he's about to make his final decision. You get thinking and you find out who will be joining him in the restaurant right after this break. Decision time for Ben. Are you ready to do this? Okay. Ready, yeah. You've heard from the families. Let's put them all out of their misery. Who are you going to take on a date? Is it going to be Laura? Is it going to be Hannah? Or will you pick Sarah? Ben. I'm going to pick Sarah. Oh. Congratulations. 
He's a crushing yellow. You'll really enjoy him. She's All a lovely right. person. <laughs> You're off the Sarah, no, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, before you meet Sarah, let's meet yeah. the two girls whose parents didn't quite persuade you tonight. First up, it's the gorgeous Laura. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Brunette, tall, gorgeous. Yeah. But she's gone. And she's not the only one, because you also turned down Hannah. <laughs> Lovely Hannah. So two very beautiful girls, That's but right, they yeah. have gone. So are you ready to say hello to the girl that you're going to go on a so, date yeah. with tonight? Let's do it. You're excited, aren't you? Yeah, I can't wait. This is good, I'm excited for you. Here she is, it's Sarah! <laughs> You two are so hot together, aren't they? <laughs> so, you've been looking at him. Is he your kind of guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm really nervous. <laughs> hey, yeah, this is a good time. Don't be nervous, you're right. OK. Oh. Right. Oh. And, and what do you think of her? She's stunning, look at her. <laughs> real. Oh. Oh, I'm <laughs> what do you want to say to your mum and uncle over there? Thanks, guys. You did a really good job. You kind of went off on a tangent at one point, but then mm. you brought it... You. <laughs> <laughs> but then you brought it back. Well, listen, um, I've got high hopes for this date tonight. I don't know about anyone else in here. Your reservation for two is at the restaurant right now. Good luck. Thank you. Have a fantastic night. Thanks. It's Sarah and Ben! <laughs> When Sarah first came out, I saw the screen go up and I'm a leg and ankle man, so her legs were just absolutely banging. She's absolutely great looking girl. Really happy to pick her. Here we go. Drink time. Party time. <laughs> when I first saw Ben, I thought he was lovely looking. Obviously, he's a very attractive guy. I just don't like his earring, I don't like piercings, I don't like tattoos. I used to talk with some in Spanish because I went to school in Spain. I can sing in Spanish, though. I can sing La Bamba. <laughs> What's that like? Para bailar la bamba, <laughs> se necesito un poco de gracia. <laughs> You've got really nice eyes, haven't you? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, nice you. eyes, too. <laughs> So, you're happy? What, with you? <laughs> yeah. What's happy with your choice? <laughs> yeah, without doubt. So, was you happy when, when I came downstairs? Yeah. I like your outfit, but I don't like the earring and I don't like the shoes. And you've got a nose piercing. Yeah. Why? <laughs> but now it's a phase, I think. OK. Are you going to grow out of this phase? <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky. I'm joking. So at the moment with Ben, I'm sitting on the fence. He's a lovely guy. However, I don't know if that connection's there. Excuse me, for a second, was going over. Pardon moi? I mean, please, yeah, excuse me. <laughs> I need to pick up some vibes. She needs to get some mayonnaise for your dinner anyway. <laughs> I love mayonnaise. Hello, though. Do you want to get you some food meal? No, it's okay. Why, why I think is, I'll pass Why tonight. are you so obsessed with mayonnaise? I just put mayonnaise in everything. Fry ups, um, pancakes. I used to dip strawberries into mayo. That's a bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> this looks delicious. Can we get some mayonnaise, please? I don't want mayonnaise. You want mayonnaise? Uh, no. <laughs> Can we just get some mayonnaise? I want to know what's going on. 
in her head. I'm trying to get in her head. Thank you. present. Thanks, you're a winner. I think the day is going to sound, to be fair. She just comes across really confident. She, she can stand on her own two feet. She can take banter. So what's your plan from here? What do you want? Obviously, I want to see you again. What do you want, blue eyes? Mm hmm What do you want, blue eyes? My eyes are cream. Blue eyes. I don't know. They're blue-green. The bluey grey green. <laughs> Grey. You've got some grey in there. Have they? <laughs> she is sold on him. Boy, definitely. So what did you think about my mum? Your mum's smoking, to be fair. She's stunning. Got to give her that. Oh, he's lovely. You fancy me then. I do. You show me enough, buddy. Shut up, Angus. So do you date a lot? Do you know what? This sort of thing's not really not my thing for dates. So next time you take a girl out, you can take her for dinner. Next time you take a girl out, <laughs> no, I, mean... I don't think it's for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Charles here. Done well. How you doing, Oh, lovely. <laughs> right. Oh my God, I've wanted this for a long time. <laughs> Get it in. We've been, uh, listen. <laughs> and it looks as if you're having a fair old thing. That You've been enjoying your stuff. You're enjoying your Yeah, I am, yeah. You can see it. You've got yeah. some makeup here. I don't... I think I let you tell me. What? Oh. Look at this. Oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ben. Hello. Do you prefer a brunette or do you prefer a blonde? She can't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> With Anne's from Glasgow. Uh -huh. Who's from Glasgow? No, no. Oh, really? There is Scottish blood in it. It would be awfully nice if you had found somebody that had a bit of Scottish blood in them. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Open arms, welcome, and the yeah. family stay away. Ben is a really lovely guy, and he's definitely got potential, and he's treated me kind of like a princess. And I suppose at the end of the day, that's all that matters. It's good, isn't it? I think the day went really well. We've both gone really, 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 really good. I'd hope for a future with her, yeah, she's, she's a nice lass. I like it. I'd I, I love to take her on a second date, yeah, if she's up for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to go out there and see, her, see what happens, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It sounds like a definite match to me. And if it doesn't work out, Ben, there's always Shona. Join us after the break when tonight's single girl will be choosing one of three handsome fellas after she meets the parents. See you in a few minutes. show on telly where young people actually listen to mums and dads. It's time for tonight's single girl to pick one of three gorgeous fellas. So let's meet the boys and their families. I have been single forever. <laughs> Do you spend more time doing your drama and stuff like that rather than doing what you're supposed to be doing? What one end to be doing that? Manning up and sorting the ladies out. I kind of get a bit frustrated when people say, oh, isn't he cute? But I'm like, no, I'm sexy. Give me, give me that. Like, <laughs> a lot of girls go for that. Them odd boys who do, like, rugby and that. People who do, like, poetry and that. You don't do poetry? Of course I do. When? I do English. We all speak English, Jordan. We don't do poetry. I've got a pretty big family, so it'll be nice for a girl to kind of get on with them. But the show is almost looks like an arranged marriage. Oh. That's what we're really excited oh. about. This isn't an arranged marriage. This is just a date. To be honest, it's very similar to the Indian culture anyway, but I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty nervous about my parents representing me. If her parents were there, then it'd be just perfect. You'd always go backstage and have a chat with them. No, 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 you don't need to go that far. <laughs> Me dad thinks I'm a little bit of a poser. Be more of a Newcastle lad than an Essex boy. I'm more of a Newcastle lad than you think, though. You don't know to see your jazz. See, my mum will find us a date, not you. We would rather I went to the pub and drunk like brown ale. I think we've got to work her out big time no, finding you a new no way. 
see what's happened. That's what will happen to your woman. <laughs> words to your families before we lock you away ash okay i'll start by saying mom dad you're representing me remember key features i look like will smith <laughs> <laughs> joe what do you want to say to your parents you've just got to remember that i'm bigger than you know <laughs> uh, and what about you jordan right you both love me please win this for me right <laughs> and i think that van Lower the tone. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, boys, single girl is on her way down here now, so you need to go and get yourselves off into the den and we'll catch up with you in a bit. Go on, off you go. Bye, boys. <laughs> there we go. Good luck. So, the boys are safely locked away. Let's meet the girl who has to choose one of them. It's the very gorgeous Georgia. <laughs> Oh my goodness, wow, you look knockout, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, Georgia, let's get to know you a little bit. First of all, what do you do? Um, I'm a full time student, I'm a third year studying history. Okay, so brains and beauty, lovely. I like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> and what type of guy are you looking for? Um, I'm interested in someone who's interesting and can kind of embrace my kind of geeky side sometimes. Uh, how geeky do you get? Um, well, I've kind of planned out what to do if there's a zombie apocalypse, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I see. <laughs> and, and what would you do? Oh, I can't tell you, because then everyone knows my plan. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, before Georgia gets started, uh, parents, I've got a question for you. Uh, tell me about your sons, first of all. Let's start with Ash. What's he like? He's funny, intelligent... Smart boy. And very clumsy. Yeah. <laughs> he, he likes dropping things and breaking things. Breaking things. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. Um, and he looks like Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done, Dad. Let's find out about Joe. Joe's the full package, he's really handsome, tall and muscly, loves the gym, blue eyes, good brows, good lips. Brows. <laughs> 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 what <laughs> on earth? Brows and lips important? I, d I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right, what about Jordan? If you want geek, he's your man. Oh, John, <laughs> yeah. Do you like stuff like that? He'll be into that big time. But, so. And he, he is intelligent and he's outgoing, isn't he? And he's, yeah. a, he's a proper party animal. Yeah, so it's up to you if you want a, a party animal. <laughs> Easy, man. OK, you've got your questions now, so it's over to you. Let's begin. OK. Well, I was a bit, bit of a goody two shoes when I was younger, so what were your boys like as kids? Oh, OK. What about Joe? What's he like as a kid? Uh, he was a good kid, actually, but he had this fascination with dressing up. He was terrified of having his hair cut, so we had to bribe him and buy him a costume every week. So he, <laughs> when he was getting his hair cut, he had to have a different costume. Like what? Well, his favourite one was Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> and he used to scream, didn't he? He used to scream all mm -hmm. the time. So then, the next couple of years, we just had to put him in a headlock and shave his head, cos... <laughs> the only way that he could do it. All right, what about Jordan? He's a, Jordan's a twin. So, there was two naughty ones, and, but they're nice, but, uh... <laughs> they were mischievous, Mischievous. Robert. Yeah. And he used to let the dog lick his lollipop all the time. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> the dog would lick and then he'd suck it in the dog eye. Right. Well, at least he uh, uh, Yeah, yeah, good with that. I'm glad you picked yeah. up that he was animals. good with animals from all lollipop. of that. <laughs> what about Ash? What was he like as a kid? Oh, very naughty. Or was he a bit naughty? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you remember when the Mankinis came out. Oh. <laughs> My brother gave that to him as a, a birthday present, <laughs> thinking he'd never wear it. So then one day we, we opened his, his bedroom door up and there he was standing in front of me with a Mankini <laughs> on. <laughs> Mankini. 
I've seen a couple on like nights out before, but you know. I just thought I'd try it. It's rude not to try a birthday present out. Uh, next question. I can't live without my hair straighteners, and as you can tell, this took quite a while. Um, how long does it take your sons to get ready for a night out? Oh, OK. What about Ash, then? How long does he take to oh. get ready? Oh, long as far time. As, as far as I'm concerned, it takes longer more. than his mum and his sister. Yeah, more really? than... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Usually one hour. Really? OK, yes. so an hour. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. What about Joe? Getting ready is not the word. This is, like, more of a procedure. <laughs> it takes about three hours. Lots of music involved. <laughs> lots of vodka involved. <laughs> It's a process to turn somebody from Newcastle into an Essex boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about Jordan? What's his grooming regime like? Jordan. Oh, he's quick at getting ready. Get up in the morning, shower. Dinner time, shower. <laughs> Tea time, shower. Then you've got to clean his teeth. He oh. cleans what? His teeth all the time, cleaning his, cleaning teeth. his teeth. With his electric toothbrush. He's doing that three hours there. I don't know what the hell he's polishing, but... <laughs> <laughs> Everything is shiny. <laughs> like her teeth, wouldn't it? Yeah, he loves your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> You've got bright white teeth, yeah. Polish him with his, his brush. I was not quite sure where we're going with it. <laughs> All right, next question. Um, what do you do that embarrasses your sons? Ah, OK. Here we go. What do you do to embarrass Joe? What embarrasses Joe is... Um, well, his friends consider... Caring. I'm not sure I can say Can I say Yes. <laughs> as long as it's... You mean, you mean Mum I'd like to fancy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he gets really embarrassed about that. She's a bit gorgeous. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about Ash? When he's going out, then I ask him, Ashish, where are you going? Where are you? He never tell me. Then I find out he oh, you think do? yeah <laughs> he he think I'm um, James Bond. But... <laughs> What's your secret? How do you know where he is? What are you doing? She phones him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she knows everything. All right. What about Jordan? What do you do to embarrass Jordan? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we do. We just said not to embarrass him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know this because you sent me a rather gorgeous video. It's one of my favourites. Because uh, oh. you embarrassed him in the garden, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Brace yourselves, folks. Titchmarsh doing that. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I just want to go and see Jordan's yeah. face. Jordan! Same on the It's interesting. Uh, OK, next question. What have you got? I think I'm a bit of a romantic person, but nobody's ever really done anything romantic for me. Ah, oh, we're going to change that tonight. Um, so, how romantic is your son? Oh, OK. All right, then. What about Ash? Is he romantic? Oh, very romantic. Very romantic. Yeah, very romantic. When you sit with him, ten minutes, you never forget Ash. Oh. He loves showering him with gifts as well. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. OK. Yeah. What about Joe? Even from a small age, Joe's been quite romantic because his dad used to work away um, and he would run me a bath and put all the candles around the outside. Oh. And he would dress up as James Bond because he loved James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> and he would, he would come in the bathroom with his little tea towel over his arm with a cup of tea for me in the bath and warm me pyjamas up in a hot water bottle. But he has, he has done that for girlfriends before when they've stayed at the house, put all the candles out and things for them. That, that is, is really so romantic. cute. And what yeah. about Jordan? Is he romantic? Yeah, he'd be the most romantic boy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> if he had a date with you, he'd, oh. he'd buy a turtleneck and think he's the milk tree man. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> that's what he, did. he put roses in his mouth or he singed you from the balcony. That, that's oh. kind of boy he is. He's, he's romantic as Jordan, isn't he? Yep. So uh, been. That's good. Romantic. Tick. All three. Yeah. Yeah. Lots to choose from. All right. Next question. Um, I'm sure they can't always be golden boys. So, do your sons ever make you angry? Oh, right. This is quite telling. Has Joe ever made you angry? Joe once got a parking fine that he hid in the drawer in his bedroom for about three months, didn't tell anybody, and then the bailiffs came to the door. Oh. Oh. Naughty Joe. And it was 500 quid. <gasps> Who paid? His dad. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what about Ash? Has he ever made you cross? All the time. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> when he was younger, clumsy comes with him. <laughs> and, you know, he's always there. And we had this table in, the, in our front room, and he managed to break it. But not tell us, he hid the whole thing, thinking, you may not see. Yeah. You may miss the table that's in the front room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, what about Jordan? A couple of weeks ago, before he left for uni, he went out for a party. For a party, and uh, he got drunk. Drunk as a skunk, and uh, went went in somebody's <laughs> house, and dumped. and then uh, couldn't find the toilet. So he went he went in somebody's blender and. <laughs> Jordan, we heard the word food blender. Who would you like to speak to? Will you put my mother on, please? Karen, pick up the phone. <laughs> Hello, kebab shop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What are, you, what are you playing at? Don't panic now, sweetheart. It was a smoothie. No. You enjoyed the smoothie, baby. No. Don't panic. No. <laughs> <laughs> You made the smoothie and emptied it out, sweetheart. We, and that's the only time I was cross with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, darling. Yeah. It's usually kebabs. Bye. 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 <laughs> and he was mortified the next morning. Well, he's mortified now. <laughs> okay, right. Time to redeem themselves. You've got your final question there. Why should I date your son? Right. Why should she date your son, Ash? He got a good heart, a very nice person. He's smart, intelligent, funny, yeah. and keeps you entertained all the time. All the time. All right. Why should she date Joe? Joe would pull out all the stops. He would put down the red carpet. You, you wouldn't have any dull silences because you could put him in a room full of people that he didn't know. And by the time he came out, he would know everybody in there. You'd have a really, really good time and you'd have a lot of fun. OK, and finally, what about Jordan? Why should she date Jordan? Oh, he's one in a million, is Jordan. He's so loving and he give you the world. It's like a stallion, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would he... <laughs> and if he did that stallion, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, he's just, he's like a stallion and if you pick him, you've won the trophy lot, cos he's getting there, yeah. <laughs> Would you, would you agree? If you want a, a geeky stallion, <laughs> you can... <laughs> OK, Boris, that is it. You've done your worst. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any idea whatsoever? No, cos they all sound lovely. Are you, are you, were you listening to what we just... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you've got a few minutes to decide. Uh, you have met the parents, but of course, which boy are you going to be taking on that date? We'll find out who Georgia decides to take with her after this break. show where mum and dad go out on the pool for their kids. OK, Georgia, it is decision time. So, who are you going to take on a date tonight? Are you going to pick Ash? Will it be Joe or will you choose Jordan? Go on, then. Who's it going to be? Um, it's going to be Jordan. Yeah. Oh. Thank you very, very much. 
Thank you. Oh, well done. Oh, sorry, Jim. <laughs> What was it then that they said about Jordan? It's just like you have so much love for him and like I can just tell from you that he loves you back. And, and what about the, uh, the pants mowing the lawn? That didn't put you off? No, cos my dad's done it before. <laughs> well, before you meet Jordan, let's meet the two lovely fellas whose parents didn't quite convince you tonight. First up, it's the gorgeous Ash. <laughs> no, you're a lovely girl. You're a lovely girl. And you're going to have so much fun with Jordan. We love you, Ash. Thank you. <laughs> How nice was that? I know. Really nice. Well, listen, so nice, but he's gone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the other person you turned down as well, equally lovely, is Joe. Joe has gone, so that just leaves your date for tonight. Are you yeah. ready to meet him? Yeah. OK, let's do this. Right, you met the parents. Now let's meet your date tonight. It's the lovely Jordan! <laughs> You can't start your conversation with, I'm so sorry, don't judge me. <laughs> Jordan! Oh, I was mortified. It was a rough day. Oh, well, listen, nobody judges you tonight. In fact, you should be saying thank you. Your parents got you this beautiful date tonight. Well done, gang. <laughs> and listen, the only way is up, because if that hasn't put her off, nothing will. <laughs> uh, so what do you think? I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, you two, the restaurant is now open and ready and oh, waiting wow. for you both. So get going and enjoy your date tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the beautiful Georgia and Jordan. <laughs> was like, yes, I've made the right choice. He's really nice to look at, but his parents made him seem like such a lovely guy, so I was, like, really excited to go on the date. My mum and dad are really similar to your parents. Oh, I mean, yes. literally, my mum and dad, like, they're one in a million, they, I love them the bits, but, oh, my God, they're literally crazy. Like, <laughs> I fancy Georgia a bit, I think. She's really attractive. She's a really lovely person as well, so that's always, that's always a bonus, isn't it? So I was on the cheerleading team for my uni. Wow, really? I'm guessing you're on the sports team, maybe? No, I'm no, not. I don't play like I don't play like rugby or anything. Like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually saying it's the Quidditch society. Have you? Yeah. Nice. Why did you choose? me through, via my parents. Why? When they said that you were at uni and, like, you're a bit of a geek like me, I was like, yeah, probably the right one to go for. Yeah, probs, probs. Well, you didn't, you didn't do bad, did you? You didn't do bad, did you? I think right. <laughs> <laughs> you talk, presumably, you like to read, yeah? Yes, I do. Yeah, what genre? Give me um, well, as I got older, I like more sort of romance books because books Romance novel, I love it. I used to read, like, Mills and Boone's books. Like, they're for grandma. <laughs> I think that she's really charismatic. The conversation is flowing, loving it, loving life. You study um, history. Yeah, and you study English lit. I do. And drama. drama. I finally have, like, a theatre buddy who will come with me places. But literally, I'll come anywhere you want me to go. Like, literally, <laughs> like, that'd be so lovely. So we both like musical theatre, we both like the arts, because we're both quite... I think we don't geeky. <laughs> I don't geeky the stereotype, but we are. We both, we both like that. I think it's a really good period. Question. You get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was revealed, was you disappointed or was no. you? No. You wasn't disappointed, no. really. Why? I was like, yeah, definitely good looking. Really? Yeah. 
Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you. Um, but yeah, what about me? Like, you saw me as I came on stage. What did you think? Literally, no, right? You were like a stunning looking girl, but I, and I'm like, oh my god, that person is far too good looking for me. Like, Aww. and I'm like, oh god, like, I can't, I can't even cope with that. You're such a sweetie. For me, you can have a really pretty face and you can be really two dimensional, but with Jordan, he's like nice to look at, which is always a bonus. His personality like melds with mine. I'm gonna be really unladylike and just grab the mac. Do it, do it. <laughs> yes, bang it. Do you want to try a bit? Yes, please, okay. We've definitely got chemistry, um, and I think it's just gone really, really well. Do you sweet to her? Oh, uh, yeah, major. Really? Major sweet tea. What are you sweet to them? So how, so far, how do you like rate this date? I've never had like, a proper girlfriend. Haven't you? Never. Mm-hmm. So, it's not the best one I've been on. <laughs> That's nice. Granted, it's the only one I've been on. <laughs> <laughs> we had, both had a good time, we had a lot to talk about, and I can't imagine the date going better. On a scale of one to ten, mm -hmm. where would you rate me? In okay. terms of like, fancy me or not? <laughs> Honestly? Yeah, come. You know, like a nine, maybe? Really? Mm hmm. If you don't feel the same, then that's fine, but like, in all honesty, I've had a great time, and even if like you're not interested, you're just so lovely. Oh, that's really And I'm lovely. going like bright red. I think I do fancy her quite a lot, and just to see her again would be nice because she's a lovely person and I think she's a joint to be around. I love it. I love a fort the booth. It's so good. I couldn't imagine going on a date with anyone but Jordan now. Ready? Yeah. We just, like, two parts of a puzzle to fit together. In the fort the booth, I got a cheeky kiss, which was quite nice. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll be in contact, you Definitely. know. Definitely, I'd be up for a second date. Yeah, why? Well, it'd be incredible. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, so cute. Looks like a match made in Hogwarts. Right, that's it for tonight. Join us next time when two more singles prepare to meet their perfect date, but not before they meet the parents. Thanks for watching. Good night.